Well, it's still Pride for another week, so there's no better time than to rank RuPaul Drag Race Snatch Game. So this was a, a popular option, actually. So I figured, why not? It's a show that I enjoy. I think it's everybody's favorite part of RuPaul's Drag Race. So let's go. Let's see if I can remember exactly which one is which. So, yeah, we have it looks like first one is All Stars 2, which was quite good. Uh, Katja's performance of Bjork was wonderful. Ginger was great. Uh, everyone is, of course, walking away from here with Alaska being as Mae West, which was fantastic. Probably one of the most iconic ones. Uh, the worst performance, I think it's easy to say, was Roxy as Alaska, because she couldn't even get the quotes right. If you're going to do a send-up of, like, of that with someone, at least do, you know, ha have your head on straight, so to speak. So, yeah, overall, very solid, very fun. It's Snatch Game. It's exactly what you think it is. Uh, All-Stars 3. Uh, you have the icon, Ben de la Creme, being Paul Lind. Uh, that's uh, Crystal Labeja, as Aja as Crystal Labeja does really well. The worst performance, but also kind of the best performance is Trixie Mattel as RuPaul. It's kind of got, become iconic for all of the wrong reasons, which is good. I mean, that's what you want. That's what, you, that's what you're hoping for. So, yeah, overall, fairly solid. Uh, lots of good options, and it was... It was, it was. And next up, we have the Snatch Game of Love. Man, they've tried this twice, and both times it just doesn't quite work. This was definitely the worst. I think I'm not even going to put it in the, in the middle. Uh, poor Latrice. Anytime she does Snatch Game, it's just... You can't help her. You can't, you can't do it. But, yeah, what can you do? What can you say? Uh, Snatch Game of Love 2, the one with Shay and Juju, automatically makes it better. Uh, hilarious. Juju B as Eartha Kit is really funny. She does a very good job. Uh, Eureka and... Uh, like, I mean... The t I, I can't... It was what it was. I'm just going to leave it there. Uh, next up, we have... Who could I recognize right at the... I don't, just don't want to do some of these. Uh, yeah, let's go with number two. First Snatch Game, gotta love the fact that straight out the gate... Wait, is this just Tatiana? If it's just Tatiana, automatically at the top. But, you know what? I'm just going to assume it's just Tatiana. She got the assignment, her and Pandora, playing off each other really well. The whole line where she's just like, I'm driving with a baby in my lap. You know, it's funny, and I feel like that's something that Britney Spears would see and probably enjoy still. Ho ho hopefully. We live in a weird time. I don't know things. I just I just talk about stuff. Um, Man, I'm trying to think of, like, which one of these to do next. Like, Chad Michaels as Cher has to be one of the best all time, up until, like, recently. <sighs> Bimini, the eyes are the nipples of the face. You can't deny that. You know, I'm just going to assume that all of these are just the performers, and you can't go wrong with them. Now, now Susie Orman, I'm going to kind of drop that one down. But Little Edie, come on. Knocking it out of the park at the very beginning. Uh, Jeez, I, I, don't, I don't know a lot of these. They're all pretty good. Is, is it Ben, or is it... Yeah, I think, I think Ben gets the slight edge there. Um, I don't know why they're singling out... Baga as that prefer I didn't think it was extremely funny. I thought it was kind of uh, kind of a flatliner. Do I think it's the worst? No. I think C's being fine. It's fine. No one on internet shares hate. So that's fine. Um, yeah, I think this might actually be the seasons, but we're going to find out together as a family. Um, oh, man. Just looking at these, I'm... I'm Struggling to remember a lot of it, which isn't the best way to go. I will say that I think season 10 was one of my all-time least favorites, as I think is kind of a general consensus between everybody. Uh, Eureka does okay, but Asia, the Vixen, do bad. And that whole... I'm going to just call it a failed dynamic between them. It's it's no good. Um, same with season... what? 15? 18? Whatever. Uh, Utica did bad. 
Denali did good as Jonathan Van Ness. Uh, Gottmik obviously did amazing as Paris Hilton. So overall, I feel like the it was it was solid enough. It did enough. Uh, it wasn't the train wreck that was the rest. Uh, speaking of, I have to kind of single down under. You know, it's just not a good season. But even just the fact that Anita Wiglet was kind of the only standout, rightfully won because she did amazing, and then everyone else was kind of just. But that seems to be a growing consensus. If I had the newest... Oh, wait, I do. That's what this is. This is the newest season. Yeah, is it one of the all-time best Snatch games? No. Is it a good Snatch game? No. But is it as bad as they say? I don't know. I don't know. Lots to debate here. Lots to think over. Lots to do. So I realized that this are these are actually like the full performances. It's not actually a thing. So I just want to make a, a standout comment to season seven because season seven was the first time a contestant did male drag and it was really frowned upon at the time. So I kind of have to bump this one up just out of sheer respect for what Kennedy did. I feel like it's something that she doesn't get enough credit for. She did great. Gotta love her choice to do Little Richard because it completely changed the game from that point forward. Uh, I've realized why some of these I was having trouble recognizing. That's because they threw in some other countries as well. So this is Canada season one, of which uh, I remember very little. Was it good? Was it bad? So that's that's my thought. Uh, Canada season two, kind of the same thing. Um, the only character I really remember from it is Eve as Bernie. And that's... Um, it's a choice. Uh, yeah, so it is what it is. The Snatch Game at Sea, again, not one I find particularly memorable. Not one that I think stands out in my mind as like a go-to must-see version. Uh, I would say it's kind of like a safe in the middle whatever. Uh, UK Season 1 has Vivian as Trump, which automatically I just... Meh. Did we need another Trump parody? And did it need to spin off with Bag of Chips with as Margaret Thatcher? Like, it was... Like, do I consider... No, it's kind of just bad. Not a fan. Not a fan. Uh, UK3, however, should get a pass simply for Micro Wave. So I would say that's kind of in the middle. That's, that's right about here. I feel uh, confident in that... Uh, next up, All Stars. We have no, this isn't All Stars. This is the original version. This is a, uh, yeah, this is Sasha Velour. That's Valentina, as Miss You, which was actually pretty funny. Uh, I will give credit where credit is due, and she did a good job. So, the bad ones here were obviously Peppermint and Nina. That didn't didn't work too well, but I don't remember a ton at the top. Marlena Dietrich obviously is a great character. Uh, I'll keep it, like, in the safe middle zone. Um, for a great one, would I consider season eight, eight, nine? Season eight, Bob the Drag Queen. Bob automatically elevates everything that they're in. Hilarious version. Uh, underrated performances. Thorgy as Michael Jackson is hilarious. Uh, Kimmy Jun in was kind of one note, but it, it, it was kimchi playing to their strengths so you know good for them but bob pulling out the second like bob the drag queen is carol channing is just that's that's just funny <laughs> really that's just funny i'm just not even gonna have to justify that um i'm sure season 10 is here somewhere <laughs> oh snatch game at sea that was that year i think god it really wasn't good if that's what i'm remembering because obviously Brooklyn and Evie do not do... Yeah, that's definitely what that was. Oh, Brooklyn and Evie do not do good. I thought that was All-Stars too. It's so unmemorable that I can't even remember the exact performances. And then finally season 12, whatever, 100. Uh, Gigi Good as the robot I remember really well. It's kind of it. Um, but funny, very funny. Overall, I feel like Snatch Game is it's such an iconic part of Drag Race now, right? I feel like they've kind of tricked me with the logos because as soon as I see them, I'm just like, oh, that person. They were fantastic. 
And I'm just like, if that's kind of what you're focusing on, is that the best of the best? Probably not. So if that was to be considered, I would have to consider All Stars 1 being, a, or not even All Stars 1, Season 4 with Cher. Actually, but no, pretty good. No, I don't know. Middle, middle. It'll go in the middle. But Ben de la Creme, really, really, Ben and Bianca and Adore, like, they were fantastic. There, I, there wasn't really a, a weak link in that connection. Uh, this morning, it was so funny. I will give credit to Stacy. I think it was Stacey Lee and Matthews who did it. No, it wasn't. Oh, I'm going to get red. Uh, <laughs> But just I remember that their performance being so good and something that was completely unexpected. Uh, Bimney as the the sheer line of the eyes or the nipples on the of the face is just funny. But if I was to go all time best snatch game, do I consider it season four? Yeah. And then out of respect, I will give it to season seven, even though it wasn't the best. It still broke the mold wide open. And from there, everything since then has just been getting better and better and better. Uh, they don't have RuPaul Drag Race UK versus the world, which is fine. Oh, no, they do right there. Never mind. That's totally what that is. Um, I still wasn't overly impressed with it. I thought it was too long. I feel like some people got done did dirty. Like, Pangina, did she really deserve to be? The no, not quite. And also, I think they had just gotten rid of Jimbo at that time or before or just after or, or this episode even. Um yeah snatch game when it's good it's good and when it's not good it is not good so for that reason i feel like these are all kind of accurate you know maybe i'll be generous and move uh uk one up to before season 10 that seems that seems fair to me this is my uh, translation of snatch game rankings so let me know what you think. What was your favorite Snatch Game? And as a note, if you are watching these videos, uh, please like. It does help me get seen in the algorithm. And, you know, hopefully I'll see you soon. All right. Bye. Thank you for watching. My name is Maddie McLean. You can find me on problematic streaming platform Spotify at a Canadian in Eurovision. You can find me online on Twitter and Instagram at the Big Shabam. And finally, if you like what you've seen here and you want to help me out, feel free to like, subscribe. It really does help. And also, if you want to see me do something next, don't be afraid to tell me. Looking forward to hearing from you all soon, and you have a great day now.